Welcome to Ask Nutrition is the past whole food plant based good for you recipes. These recipes are good for weight loss, to control your cholesterol, to lower your A1C, to reverse or prevent uh, having a heart attack by lowering your, uh, lowering your blood pressure and so much more. So the star of the show is French beans. So today I'm going to make a very nutty, very quick uh, French, beans, uh, French beans or green beans stir fry using very simple ingredients. Uh, so basically I got the French beans which from, from uh, Aldi actually. These are very, they, they seem, they look very tender. As you can see, I don't see any brown spots here. And uh, the ends are very, um, very tender as well. And looks like some of them are pre-trimmed, which is wonderful. So they are not going to be as stringy. So all ready to go now these kind of vegetables which are already pre-selected for you are going to come in very handy when it comes to meal planning when you are busy with your work-life balance here and look for uh, these packets in most of the grocery stores and they are easily available very affordable this was i believe two dollars and 99 cents per pound but just look at the amount of time that i will be uh, uh, saving by having pre-selected for me so that's the advantage of it and uh, so the ingredients are very uh, straightforward here we have french beans green beans i'm going i have toasted chickpea flour lightly roasted in this little skillet i use a lot of uh, cast iron pots and pans and this is my most favorite uh, skillet to roast uh, one or two teaspoons of any ingredient. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sesame seed, which is a source of calcium here. We are going to add some coconut for, uh, for the healthy fats. And the spices are going to be simple, just a little bit of turmeric and, uh, and some cayenne. Now, technically, you can add some pumpkin seed powder in there or peanut powder in there. And I might sprinkle some a little bit later, but I'm first going to grind um, the, uh, the both uh, sesame seed, coconut, along with spices and uh, along with the uh, roasted chickpea flour in my little, uh, little mixer grinder here and keep that powder ready. And then um, I will go ahead open the pack of French beans, chop them in small pieces, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am, okay, so here we are. I did uh, end up steaming my, the green beans lightly because of, just to save time really. Uh, I'm, I have a very busy day today and just wanted to get done with my cooking in less than 30 minutes. That's, that's always is my goal. So I'm going to start by crackling the mustard. Again, no oil is used because of the and because of the inflammatory uh, properties of oil, which means that when you warm, when you heat up oil, warm up oil, it creates inflammatory compounds, which then they go in your body, stick to your arteries and veins, carrying blood to your organs. And that's how diabetes, cardiovascular disease starts. So why eat something? Why indulge in something which is going to hurt us eventually, right? Uh, so the, the, uh, the mustard seeds are crackled. And make sure you watch my how I make my tarka without oil video if you are not familiar with this technique. But basically you are just warming up the skillet at very high temperature and adding your ingredients. Okay. This is the perfect sound for it. And there's usually a fear that things are going to get stuck, but they are not even though we have not used oil. So this cooking technique 
can be used to stir fry any vegetable. I am stir frying this obviously green beans here and you could skip adding mustard seeds but every spice has its own. Mustard seeds are good for you. Mustard seeds do have little bit of oil in it because that's where mustard oil is coming from. So we are, so that does add little bit of flavor and nutrition. When it comes to using food as medicine, every bit counts. Okay. You may say, oh, those 15 mustard seeds, how they are going to help me. But that's the beauty of, of orthomolecular nutrition, which means nutrition at cellular level. Okay. Um, this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to eat right kind of foods so that we can upregulate or downregulate some of the DNA, uh, your genes, to work in our favor. Now, you will start seeing a little bit of browning here. No worries. I have some broth. Um, I don't know what I steamed yesterday, but it was in my pressure cooker. So I use all kinds of broths that are just homemade. Basically just boiling cauliflower stems, cabbage stems, garlic peels, onion peel basically from scrap because that's where really all the flavor is right and these the, the green beans are already halfway cooked now do you see that i have steamed them just enough not pressure cook them but steam them to maintain their vibrant color and that's what you want you want to make sure that your vegetables are looking nice and bright here you have it in fact when you don't use oil and too much salt you actually get to taste the flavor of the vegetable itself otherwise you are just tasting fat and sugar and uh, salt and food and those tastes are addictive but we are retraining our our uh, our senses we are retraining them to start enjoying real food so now i am going to add the the masala basically the seed sesame seed coconut and chickpea flour blend that I did with some cayenne and turmeric to this and the reason I'm putting it on the side is just to release just allowing the heat to release some of the flavors oh my goodness I cannot tell you how phenomenal it's it's uh, with smelling the aroma is and there's hardly any any effort to these vegetables and then you are just going to quickly mix things in I wasn't sure how much it's going to take but I'm going to add I guess all of it basically for one pound I used one teaspoon of one to one and a half teaspoon of each the sesame seed, the coconut, and the chickpea flour, and the cayenne and turmeric goes as per your taste. Now at this point, you can add a little bit of salt and also sprinkle with a little bit of water. How much water to add depends on what kind of consistency you want. Okay. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of sea salt. But if you're dealing with blood pressure or any kind of cardiovascular disease, any kind of heart disease, or any kind of swelling, or you have tendency to easily swell up, then I would highly recommend you really control your salt. In fact, if you are trying to look, uh, I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, try eating less than half a teaspoon of salt per day and see the magic. Okay, you will be surprised as to how much salt we end up adding just unknowingly and how just cutting down on that salt helps. So I'm going to just rinse my blender. You kind of add this in and cover this for a few minutes. Partially cover it. I'm going to go chop some cilantro and lemon and we will just finish up the, uh, the curry. So the green bean curry is done and I have sprinkled generous amount of uh, not so finely chopped cilantro. You know, there's always this recommendation, oh, finely chopped cilantro. And I'm telling you guys not to finely chopped uh, chopping your uh, greens because the the more you chew your greens the better it's going to be for your arteries and veins which which carry blood uh, supply to your organs because the nitric oxide which expands your arteries and veins is released when you chew on your greens so I added that's why not so finely chopped cilantro on top and a generous squeeze of lemon on the side and this is it those um, again a low low fat pretty much no fat um, so here you have it green bean curry which was done in less than 15 minutes i hope you enjoy it by the way guys i really enjoy those questions and comments that you are sending me in my email or text uh, or to the youtube video comment section please keep those coming they are not only helping me to answer to keep me on my toes but it's also helping others to improve their knowledge so thanks again and i will see you next time